I've loved so far about being in Guam is just seeing all the different cultures, um, all our Pacific brothers and sisters do their thing. Oh, so beautiful. All their traditional kākahu and dances and songs and stuff, even though you can't understand what they're singing about if you close your eyes and, and you just open your heart, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what language, eh? you can sense it. My name is Mercy Rika and this is my world. I have been following Macy Rika to all of like her little jam sessions through Macy Rika's songs. I've learned, you know, some Maori terms that are very similar in Chamorro language. Very recently grew a love for all Pacifica music and no matter how distant we are, we're very close. And I think that's what made me grow a love for all of her songs. Ancestrally, I'm from Guahan. Amazing experience to see her live on my home island. Whenever I hear someone singing from their heart, it heals me. I, I hope that they take away from the shows a little bit of ihi and wehi and, and a bit of a oomph to help them in whatever place they are in their lives. You know, that to me is sometimes more important than the show. I love New Zealand music. We, we, we need to translate Maori language in English and in English in French. She talk about culture and it's like our struggle in Ukraine and we love that. Because I love it. Out of everything that's been put in front of me or everything that you know I've come through, I've never questioned you know the singing side of things. My mum and all the sisters, brothers sang. My mum was the one with the really high voice and my grandmother was the one who used to sing all the time. So I'm really proud to be able to carry on. Just a little bit of that legacy she left behind in our DNA, yeah, I guess you could say. I'm the oldest of 12. Uh, me and my brother raised in Aotearoa. Truth be told, um, my father is uh, Samoan, German Samoan. Yeah, the Tafua whānau are my whānau over there. But we were raised by our mum. We were raised by But at the same time, very proud of that Samoan side, but I've always felt like I've never been able to say it because um, I don't know enough about it. About the language, the culture. I've been here once. I've got a sister that was brought up there. Yeah, so she does her thing, the fear, fear. Do my thing. Yeah. I, I love singing with my uh, Polynesian sisters, Annie, Betty and Ria. It's always a crack up when you're on stage with Annie. She is just dynamite. <laughs> I really enjoy um, the moments you don't get to see, the laughs we have, the cries we have together. Very different voices. We all stand on our own two feet, eh? We're all individuals in our own right, but together, it feels like we're unstoppable. No ego or anything like that, eh? When your heart is in it, your heart is in it. It doesn't matter. I've never felt funny singing in Te Reo Māori because um, I was a part of that Kohanga Reo movement. So it was like really accepted and normal. And a lot of people say to me, oh, it's a hard, you know, getting gigs in Te Reo. I've never thought of it as hard because it's always been an encouraging factor in my life. I would love to do some more traveling and to take my children with me and my husband, um, do some more albums. I've got like three albums just sitting there, just sitting on the books and sitting in my head. I just need to get those down. Um, and they're quite different, each couple of them. Um, so there's those, there's traveling around with my tamariki, showing them the board, you know. That's what you want to do, isn't it? Live your passion, do what you love to do and take the people that you love around with you. Um, that's all I want to do. Just make our people proud.